Hello, I'm Audio. This is my channel. We are still on the world map, and we are moving toward the yawn. I moved people. Done with that phase. Uh, I'll build ships next turn, probably. You know, I'll just put it off until it's a problem. And I'll talk to uh, this fellow again. Again, though, it's got to be hurried, because I don't know exactly when um, Ratia's stuff goes on, and that will just be really cluttered. Um... I guess I'll let this go, though. I might as well. I mean, Nelson is whatever. At least he has a cool design. Uh, he's just not really a super interesting character. I mean, just, like, just this conversation is weird. I, I kind of want to see it again. Because I don't believe how he... Uh, how he goes about becoming what he is. Like, when two countries go to war and whatever, it's like, they could both be good countries. It's usually not the case. But they could both be good countries, and then, like, somebody wouldn't, they still wouldn't be ambivalent to joining either one. Like, they join the one they're a part of for a specific reason. It's just weird. I don't... I mean, oh, it's a game. It's a fucking arrow game. Chill out, audio. Okay. Fine. I'll let him join. Ultimately. So. And I don't really remember that much about him. I think I only recruited him in one playthrough because he wasn't interesting to me, so I skipped him most of the time. I say that about an unnaturally large amount of characters, don't I? That's why I still don't have Rinfa and Ranfa. Someone was asking about that. I didn't forget that they're still there. They're just... Not doing anything. I'm not recruiting them right now because God damn it, they are so boring. So boring. It's like I think I already said it's like Fuka from Sengoku Rins. Everything looks so Asian. Well no shit, dude. Where do you think you are? Asia. Alright. I'm done with his shit. Oh, he's talking to Mikado. Um yeah, did it say how old Mikado was? I forgot. I think she's like 18-ish. She's young adult here. Yeah. Oh well. Anyway. I'm bored of Nelson, so this is what happens. Nelson has joined your forces. Cool job. Enemy phase. Let's uh, see more Dokutsu. They still didn't lose their other territory. Hmm. Yeah, I also have to talk about this. The whole, like, uh, it's not a problem, it doesn't, well, it does affect, it does affect the gameplay, actually, in a way. Let me continue. Um, the, the way the universe works, like, okay, you need to destroy the enemy fleet so you can land your ground forces and take them over. I understand that. Your ground forces can never lose. I understand that, too. Um, my problem is that... Obviously, I've stated before, if you could play like a ground force section of the game, it would be more interesting. But how do they have anti-space defenses? Does it just... Like... Do the anti-space defenses just shoot at the landing party? Do they just shoot at the landing party? Or do they shoot the actual fleet? Right? If they have technology for lasers, why can't they shoot more off of, like, you know, whatever. She's talking about nukes, so. Like, I just don't understand how some of that stuff works. Like, I mean, your fleet from space would help in taking over the planet, right? Uh, see, Reiti is not evil, which is cool. Like, she's nice, pretty much. I mean, she's still killing a lot of people for her own benefit, sort of. But, I mean, it's it's a complicated thing to talk about. I mean, even, like, in real life, you could look at it and be like, what's a few million deaths compared to global unity and a perfect future for humanity? Not much, to be honest. It's not much. But... You can't ask individual people to die for something like that, because it's probably not important to them. And that's what is most important, so... 
Whatever, that's why Raytia fucked up. That's why she's a bad person, ultimately. She's still cool. Still like Raytia. I wonder if she's got any cool figures or anything coming out lately. Should look it up. Check it out. I already talked about how much merchandise she's had in the past. So, well, this is a sad scene. I'm skipping it. I don't want to do sad scenes. Are you kidding me? I'm not doing sad scenes. It's just, uh, that uncomfortable losing section of it. Oh, hey, it's Scout Fleet! <laughs> this guy's still here. Alright, Nelson, get out there. So stupid. Enemies faster than Nelson. Jesus Christ, Nelson, get your shit together. You don't even have anti-laser ships anymore. You disappointment. 67 speed. What a piece of shit. Alright. So he just got hurt really bad and now I can't use him against Rance. Son of a bitch. And this is Japanese. I don't know what it means. Ah. <sighs> Give me a break, you know? Imperial Navy Headquarters. Mm. Alright, this could be it too. I've been like anticipating this Dokutsu scene for the past three parts. Cause it can show up at any time. So. You know. I mean. When Germany fell in World War II, it was a big deal, obviously, but as far as Japan was concerned, it wasn't... It wasn't the end of the world. I mean, it was really bad, but they weren't helping each other that much directly. You know, like, Japan started all its own shit with whoever it was doing shit with. Okay? Germany didn't help them. Like, oh, we're getting slammed by China. Germany didn't fucking care. They didn't send people to help with China. They were busy killing thousands of Russian civilians to... They were too busy. So fuck it. But... Yeah, this is probably it, so I'll just let it go. This is a good way to uh, end up a part. I say end, but it's gonna take up more than what's already played. Sorry if that sort of thing bores you. Um, I, however, get to lean back in my chair, take my hand off my mouse, relax, look at the nice blue scenery in the background, criticize the art style, Talk about H scenes that I love and don't love. It's a very easy life, these dialogue scenes, I have to admit. <sighs> oh, I don't like any of the Eris people's H scenes. They all suck. They're all drawn too weirdly. Yep. I, uh, I came to the conclusion that I don't like 80% of the H scenes in the game. Well, I mean... As a human being, I like all of the H scenes to a degree, but, you know, I mean... I don't know what I'm trying to say. It's like the higher grade of H scenes that you need. I mean, you're not going to waste all your days on low tier H scenes, are you? No. That's why there are artists like Red Drops and... Fatal Pulse, Asanagi. Alright, let me, uh, let her go. Oh, my f true facts, first time through this playthrough, I said don't let her go. That's bad, you let her go. Because it's bullshit, okay? Oh, I'll let you go. Well, no, I'm gonna go too, I'm Togo. No, that's not what you said in the dialogue scene. If I knew that's what would happen, I would have changed my answer. You fucking people. So, that's how that goes. If you try and hold her back, she just gets mad at you. Because she doesn't like Togo. But... You know. Uh, I was talking about Dojin artists. Like, oh yeah, higher grade H scenes. You get them from, like, fucking Alice Soft, usually. You get them from... Good artists. Like I said, Red Drop. The guy who did Black Lagoon. The manga for Black Lagoon. Oh god, what's his name? Tex-Mex. He has higher grade H quality stuff. I don't really like it, but it's still high grade, you know. And then you have Asanagi, which I said already. Of course, if I keep going, then it's gonna... You know, I don't actually know that many artists, I'm sorry, you guys. In any case, I should talk about the game, it's just that, well, 
I've hyped this part up for quite some time, and there's not that much to say about it really. You just go and save Raytia in this awkward scene that shouldn't exist. In a realm with smart people, it shouldn't exist. For donuts? Sure. Why would Togo ever go with? No one knows. <laughs> you thought I had a lot of dialogue options, right? In the conversation phase that I didn't go through? You're in for a big fucking surprise when I get Raytia and Gobles, okay? There are going to be so many. So many. Oh, Gobles has a good scene. Like, Gobles scenes are animated way better than, like, Rinfa and Ranfa. I just want to make a side-by-side -side comparison. Go look at them! If you don't believe me, go compare them. Fucking look at them and tell me they're not drawn by different people. Or drawn by someone who's significantly better than the other person. I swear to God, I swear to religion, there's something going on. I mean, to you guys, it's probably like, well, obvi fucking obviously. Fucking obviously, audio, there's obviously something going on. Why are you so stupid? It's not like you made some big discovery. But I did. It's a big discovery. Because you don't notice. The average person just gets an erection, and then they're like, oh, that's a good age scene. <laughs> no. No. I take it a step further. As do... Most people who play Arrow Gay, which counters exactly what I just said. What's going on? Oh yeah, you go to Dokutsu through, a, again, a surprise warp gate. Surprise warp gate. Gotta put that out there. Not like I hate the game for doing that shit. It's fine, it's a means to an end. And uh, someone informed me this is not a true route, it's a complete bonus route that I'm doing. It's not supposed to be a main thing. Which makes me question what the fuck the main route is. Like, do you just decline the Japanization project, even though that seems like a really good idea? How many people are going to decline that on their first playthrough? Like, half, alright? They might go half seas. So only half the people who play the game are going to get the, the route that's actually true? I mean, I know these games have if routes, and they have lots of different branching routes, but... That choice decides it? Just that one simple choice? I don't like that. That stuff bothers the hell out of me. Because you're not fully informed on like what it means. You know? That's why it bothers me. You're not fully informed at all. You know, like, look, for example, the dialogue option I had to make to go with donuts. You're not informed at all on what either one means. You're basically just guessing. It's pure luck. You know, when I play these games, all games with like VN type options, you know, The Witcher 2 is another game exactly like this, uh, which I know that sounds weird coming off like out of the blue like that, but it's a good game. Anyway, it has a lot of dialogue choices. It's very VN-esque. It has a lot of routes. It has a lot of dialogue choices that decide the routes. So any game that has those kinds of dialogue options, they need to have some kind of an elaboration. They they need to be more specific. They just need to be more specific, ultimately, you know, so you know... You know what it means. You know, it's, maybe I'm the kind of person who doesn't... I don't... Let me think how to say this. Like, when I got the thing that cancelled Donuts and removed her from my fleet, I immediately reloaded the game and chose the other option. Doesn't 90% of the population of the world do that? Like, do you do that? I want to know if you do that, gentlemen. Because that's how I always treat these games. If I... do something that I don't like, I just reload. I don't ever play through it. Like, I get pissed off when a character that I like dies because of a stupid option. So I reload the game. And I don't make the same choice. And... You know, I mean, it shouldn't just say blatantly, like when I'm talking to Donuts, Oh yes, this will kill Ratio if you don't accept the other one. It shouldn't say that, but I mean... Uh, like, I have to question whether or not that dialogue option should even exist in the game. It's so obvious which one you would do. You know? It doesn't, it doesn't bring anything to the table. It's like the ones where, accept this or you get a game over. It brings nothing to the table. At all. There's no point to doing it. Uh, oh, I'm skipping a little bit here because it's just travel. It's just them traveling and talking a little bit. And it's not very interesting. And uh, some expedition here would be 
pretty welcome, I think. I mean, if you like Ernie, then it's cool. Uh, yeah, see, look, it's still going on about her flagship, and I don't care. And now we're finally in Berlin. Skip a little bit more. Uh, but do you agree with me or disagree with me with the dialogue things? Do you reload usually? I mean, I can understand going through a game and just all the options I pick, I'm going to stick with. Cool job. But it requires a certain attitude and it requires a certain person to be willing to do that shit, you know? You can't expect everyone to just willingly sacrifice Raytia because of some bullshit dialogue choice. I mean, I haven't really played that many games lately, but uh, at least it's not doing what Shogun 2 does. Again, you, a lot of you know that I played that game. Like, when fucking random event stuff shows up, it's like, do you want to punish this boy for stealing, or punish the guards for letting him steal? It swaps it up. There's a 50% chance either option will give you a good or a bad reward. So, there is absolutely no point to fucking choosing either one. Because it's, it is literally giving you no option. At least these games don't do that. I guess I can put that out there. That's a different rant for a different time, I suppose. Uh, this... Yeah, I'll just let it go. I'll just let it go. I said that I would, so I will. I won't skip anymore. Probably. I mean, it depends. Something. I mean, you get an H scene with Hermie soon. Of course, she owes you. Pretty big. Well, she doesn't really owe you. Hmm. Oh well. It is what it is. But I'm pretty much spent until they show me something new. Togo's room. Togo's fucking boring. Uh... Oh, it is. See, doesn't she look... I guess I was a little mistaken to say she looked like a toddler, but she looks way tinier. It's because her legs are small. Her legs are... the perspective is weird. Anyway, still moving. Still not actually in Berlin like I thought we were. What the fuck? Okay, finally. Finally, guys. And, uh... It's sad crying Raytia, so... I'm a little sad now, too. Poor Raytia. She just got bullshit right out of her kingdom. Well, to think, though, if she didn't send donuts over to Japan, what would have happened? What would have happened? They would have all died. I think Eris just kills them. Literally kills them. So, that's pretty lame, actually. I mean, that's kind of a... Nowadays, unless you're like a rebel leader, you're gonna live. It doesn't matter. If you're a fucking... Like, okay, let me think of a recent event. Um... Gaddafi from Egypt. If uh, Americans had gotten their hands on Gaddafi in a normal situation, he would have been guaranteed to live. He didn't get captured by American rebels, or I mean American soldiers, so he's fucking dead. Americans and most European countries, probably South American countries as well. I don't know much about the Asian countries wouldn't kill war leaders. They would keep them alive. Anyway, it's enough of that. Goebbels is doing her own thing. She's still pretty happy, which is weird. I'd feel like shit if I was Goebbels. But that's the thing about Goebbels. She never really had anything to risk, you know? Like, that's why being in that position is nice. If you're the second person to back everything up, you don't have much to risk, you don't have much to lose. Usually you're in that position because you feel passionate about what you're second in command to, but if things go really shitty, 
you're not going to lose the most. So, look at that. That whole like five minutes of journeying over to Berlin is, you know, it takes a long time. Then the trip back to Japan, summarized with, in one treacherous journey, they make it back to Japan. And here we are. How nice. Storytelling at its finest. But, uh, oh yeah, Keichiro, he's got more going on. I don't have him as my advisor voice. I have Mikado as my advisor voice. I think I've mentioned this before. He's supposed to be more important than he is, but he's really not now because I turned him off. So his whole role in the game doesn't exist. And he's Togo's awkward friend. Like, the vibe I get from uh, Keichiro and Togo is that they are friends because they need to be. They're not really friends. Like, they're friends because they're both in the same environment. You know what I mean? You know what I'm talking about. You have those friends. Everyone has those friends. Doesn't necessarily make them less of a friend, but... Whatever. I'm not talking about that in this video. What the fuck? But yeah, um, I think I get a donut scene coming up here. Maybe in the uh, next part. It's really nice, actually. Uh, this is one of my favorite scenes in the game because the lighting is beautiful. But I'll talk about it when it comes up, and I'll see you in the next part.